Hi guys, and welcome to another one of my health and fitness tips videos. Many people will think of these as the devil. Some people think that they're the best thing since sliced bread. And some people just couldn't care less and eat what they want. So, let's talk about carbohydrates. The plain and simple of the matter is that carbs are our primary energy source. Our bodies store carbs as glycogen in the muscles and liver. When there's not enough glycogen stored and you're doing a workout or some form of activity, you'll feel fatigued, you may find it more difficult to train hard, and you'll reduce your immune system's ability to function properly. Carbs should never be avoided, but it is important to understand that not all carbs are alike. Carbohydrates can either be simple or complex. Complex carbs usually take your body a little bit more time to break down and use. This, in turn, provides you with a more even amount of energy. Simple carbohydrates are composed of easy to digest basic sugars and have little real value to your body, like sweets and sugary drinks. But don't get me wrong here, everybody needs a sweet treat every now and then, but just try not to have one every day. The one thing that I find is that if I start my day with something overly sugary, like sugary cereals or something like that, I'll be craving sugar all day. It's kind of like a sugar train, and once you get on the sugar train, it's really hard to get off of it. Think of your body as the most precious thing that you could control. Like a Formula One car. You don't put bad fuel into a Formula One car. It'll wreck the engine. Same goes for sugar. It'll wreck your body. Also, you wouldn't put too little fuel in the car because it would run out. It wouldn't be able to perform properly. This is what people do when they cut carbs from their diet completely. They lose concentration and have a constant level of fatigue. However, if you overfuel your car, it makes it heavier and harder to move. The same goes for your body. If you eat more carbs than you need, they're gonna get stored and you're gonna get heavier. Therefore, on days you're more active, eat more carbs. On days you're less active and doing nothing, eat less carbs. If you think about carbohydrates as fuel, you only need the amount of fuel that your body's actually going to use. Over the next week, I would love for you to make the simple switch to eating brown bread, brown rice, brown pasta, instead of eating all the white stuff, and also trying sweet potato as a substitute for potato. You will feel so many benefits. You'll feel fuller for longer, you won't crave as much sugar, and also you'll be able to see the benefits in your body yourself too. If you have no idea how many carbs you should be having each day, in the description box below I'll have all of the formulas and calculations that you'll need to be able to work it out. The bottom line is, just be sensible with the carbs that you're choosing to eat. Skip low nutrient desserts, and focus on healthy whole grains, fruits and veggies for you to be able to fuel your body with the energy that it needs every day. I hope this video has helped you understand a little bit more about carbohydrates and their benefits, and if you have any comments or questions whatsoever, Post them below and I'll do my best along with my nutritionist to get back to you. And don't forget to subscribe for my next health and fitness video.